to students. So, we are beginning this course of chaotic dynamical systems. The first lecture there, we start with the beginning. Now, we try to look into dynamics and we look into the beginning of dynamics. So, if one wants to look into dynamics, this has a very long story. In fact, the ancient Hindus had a lot of knowledge of the dynamics of the solar system, the dynamics of the atomic, the atomic motion and this has been all mentioned in the Vedas. So, there is a Vedic history which tells us that this was quite a known subject then. Then if we come back to the 4th century, so between the 4th century and the 6th century, we had mathematicians like Aryabhat, mathematicians like Brahmagupta, and Varamihir. who studied the planetary motions and this the books written by them can be easily found today. So, they did mention about all the planetary motions and we did have the heliocentric approach then. So, that was all known at that particular time, but we have lost a lot of what was known then and today whatever we do. Today, whatever we are learning now is a kind of rediscovery. So, we begin with the rediscovery of this theory. So, the theory of dynamics has a rediscovery and we start with this rediscovery. So, what can be said about this rediscovery? Now, the rediscovery, one can say that the story of rediscovery started with Ptolemy, the Greek mathematician and he gave the geocentric model of the solar system. That means, the earth is stationary and all the other things the sun etcetera is moving around it and this happened sometimes maybe 60 century before Christ. So, for a long time the geocentric model was prevalent in the west. Of course, we know that it was not in India. In India, we did have a lot of discovery before that and it was the scenario changed with Copernicus. Who proposed the heliocentric system this was in the 14th century and of course, we can note that in 4th to 6th century, the Hindus already knew about it. Maybe that knowledge had not reached the west. So, Copernicus proposed the heliocentric system and then the telescope was invented and then Galileo saw through the telescope lot of things and lot of things were discovered then, but all that happened in the 14th and 15th century. But later Kepler gave his three laws of motion. So, he gave his, he proposed his three laws of planetary motion and that was way back in 15th century. Now, Kepler suggested the elliptic motion for planets which was already known to the ancient Hindus right in the 5th century, the 5th, 6th century. So, then came up Newton. And then the basic work of Newton was to suggest the universal law of gravitation and he gave the laws of motion which basically describe dynamics. So, the orbit of x one could say it is the trajectory of x. So, the orbit of x is defined as so we denote it as O x and this happens to be the sequence x f x f square x and so on. What we are basically interested in studying here is 
the asymptotic properties of O x for all x in x. So, we study the asymptotic property Now, sometimes we find that this properties right give rise to some kind of unpredictability. It gives rise to some kind of unstability and most of the time it is found that there is a lot of irregularity also going within that which tries to give this unstability here. So, many times we find that these underlying properties that we see here give some kind of say some kind of nature here, some kind of behavior which cannot be described and that is what we term as chaos. So, this is basically what we term as chaos and it is basically this concept that we plan to study during this course. So, that is what we have for now. Maybe the future lectures we will have something more on this. So, maybe we stopped here today.